Hi cake designers, welcome to Pay Cake Designs Cape Cake Tutorial. Start by assembling 3 6 inch cake layers of 2 inch height each. You can use any diameter cake but make sure that the width and height are in proportion. Crumb coat the cake so that it will not dry out. Carve the shape of the cave carefully. We have to make a concave shape at the bottom to fill water. To carve the curved shapes, you can use a spoon. I am using here my medium and small circle cutters to shape it perfectly. Also, carve the rock shape on the outside of the cake. You can do this however you wish to. Crumb coat the carved area so it will not dry out. For the inside, I am using a spoon to perfectly crumb coat the concave areas. In the same pan, Place a cling wrap and put rice crispy and marshmallow mix and press it well to give the shape of the pan. Allow it to dry a little more so it can hold the shape. We have to give a hole on the top of the cave so I am using my Russian tip nozzle to cut the circle. Place this on top of the cake. When I did so, I had a little displacement so after placing it I used the same tip to carve the excess cake. To support the rice crispy and marshmallow shape, double two sides near the hole. Mix the cake crumbs with little buttercream. And place it on top and sides to give the shape of the rock. Now take grey and brown fondants. I have dried the fondant pieces overnight and cut them into small pieces. After cutting also, dry them for some more time till you get a rough top. The time depends on the climate. Now mix the dried pieces into a light brown fondant. You can also use wet wafer paper pieces to mix in the fondant to give the rock effect. Give a marble effect by rolling it with a thin piece of white fondant. Roll it into a log and slice it. Allow the cut pieces to dry for some time again. Now, prick each piece with a dressing tool to give the rough texture of rocks. You can also do this by just stretching the pieces in opposite directions too. Do this for all the pieces. Attach these to the cake with a little simple sugar syrup or oil icing or buttercream or ganache. Cover the inside and outside of the cake with fondant pieces except the water area.
give it a more realistic rock look, airbrush with a dark color. Apply a thick coat on the carved areas and a thin coat on the whole surface. Now place a cling wrap or tissue on the water area and using a brush, apply crushed Oreos to the cracked areas to give a soil effect on the rocks. Then apply green biscuit crumbs on some areas of the rock to give an algae effect. After applying, press it gently with the brush so it stays on place. You can also use clean hands to do this. Roll out green fondant to cover the cake board. Prick it with rust and tool to give a grass effect. Apply the green biscuit crumbs and some stones to the sides of the cake to give a complete look. Apply ganache on the water area. Place green biscuit crumbs on the sides of the ganache. Pour drops of white chocolate or ganache to give a realistic water effect after pouring the gelatin mixture. You can also paint white color with a brush instead of the white chocolate. Pour gelatin mixture over the ganache area. I kept a tissue to hold any unwanted drops of gelatin on cake sides. Ganaching the water area is important because otherwise the gelatin can melt fondant. After it sets, apply white gel color to show little forming on the sides of the water. Use a tissue to remove the excess paint if required. There your cake is. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.